Call Joe Gibbs Racing, front row, 200 miles at Darlington. Off we go in South Carolina. since they repaved that little patch in one and two it's just crazy how much grip that spot has compared to what it used to so you see a lot more drivers be able to go too wide through there a little bit easier uh, than before uh, so that, that's something that you know has changed immensely ever since they paved that spot as we got a great race for second with Truex trying to hang on to it Sam Mayer with the power move but Brian's not giving up here I don't know we saw last night in the truck race Big launches down on the bottom, but uh, John Hunter must have liked what he filmed up top, and Truex went up there behind him, lining up behind his teammate. Big pushes help here. That's what I was going to say. What what factor is that? Because you, you want to have a little shuffle behind, I assume. We'll see what the 19 does to assist the 20. Restart coming less than 10 laps in. What an even start that was. Look at those guys. All of them. Okay, maybe you should have took the bottom. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just saw the 20 spinning tires, and the 19's kind of shoving him, and, you know, 19's trying to help the 20 go, but they were kind of connected in a weird spot, and, and the one car, I mean, gosh, he's making it happen here early and, and getting out to the lead. He just exploded. Like, I think he was actually in front of the 20 at the start-finish line. When they got to turn one, he was gone, Sam Mayer, in that throwback to Kurt Busch's rookie campaign at the cup level. That Sharpie car, I remember that well when Kurt showed up and he meant business from the word go. How about this battle? You can tell this race is only a couple hundred miles long. These guys are trying to get every inch, every lap. As you see, that beautiful Tim Richmond throwback for Brett Moffitt trying to dive underneath and make it three wide. Can they get there? Brandon Jones going to try to squeeze three wide top. There it is. There. That's a great race. Brandon Jones won here 2020, and that nine car has won here twice in the last couple of years, courtesy of Noah Gregson, who left Junior Motorsports, moved on to Cup. Here comes Larson. Larson around Truex for third. You know, he's been he's been working him over here the last little bit. He's ran down these these top and Truex and loose. <laughs> uh, hanging on big time, wasn't he? You know, Larson's running what he does. You know, he's so good at, at saving his tires. Look how high he's entering into turn one, and it just that is not only speed, it also saves your stuff, too. If you're not kind of going across that apron and driving up the hill and scrubbing your fronts, you know, so it's it's two things that, that high entry to one does. It takes a lot of confidence to do it, and your car has to be good to do it, but, but Larson's always been one who's been able to make it work really well. And your car's a little off. Uh, I mean, we've seen him slide around here for the last 15, 20 laps, it seems like. It just gets worse. Like, you, you can't do anything to to get anything back. Like, you're, you have to have such an emphasis on saving your stuff early. Oh, we have a spin. That's 27 of Jeff Burton. Won earlier this season at Talladega, already locked into the playoffs. And our second yellow of the afternoon comes out with six to go in stage one. He was 28 when it got away from him. And Adam, I mentioned Sammy Smith. That was a huge break for him. He's just going to be one lap down. That means he can get a free pass at a stage break. He might can make something happen. So he's still in contention in this thing. And we know how fast he is. You get two down it's in a short problem. race, it's pretty much game over. They've combined to win five of our 10 races this year, and we're separated by four points coming into today. The advantage to Hill, but he might lose a point here as he's right behind Nemechek, ending the stage off of turn four and back to the green, white checkered flag. It's gonna be Kyle Larson, who gets it done, stage number one at Darlington. Off the 31 brings out our fourth caution of the day. Good luck down. All right, that's all of them. You can roll. That's going to be an exciting battle to watch. You know, both those cars are pretty fast. The 20 was probably a little bit faster than the 21 the first run. And so now it's like picking your spot, right? Like, how hard do I want to go to try to establish myself on the restart on fresher tires? But if I go, oh, we got the 48 in the wall. Parker Kligerman damaged that left rear. Three more. Shown 28 right now, but was 10th when the car got away from him and he hit the wall. Keep in mind, he was above the cut line a couple of weeks ago going to Dover. Got wrecked early, nothing to show for their work there, and 
and now this. So they're going in the wrong direction over at Big Machine right now when it comes to points. And now we get our fifth yellow of the afternoon. Sage Karam in the 44 driving for Alpha Prime. Second time he's been into the wall this weekend, but I don't think this one's repairable. Yeah, that's big damage. He's got right front suspension damage. We saw him in qualifying yesterday. He sent it on the fence, <laughs> and uh, uh, they fixed it up for today and, and just having a, a tough go of it. As we also have 78, Anthony Alfredo in the Dale Jr. throwback with some damage. Is invited to run, huh? Crowd rises to their feet. I love looking over at the fans. They get really excited when these guys fire them up, head down to turn one. Look at them cheering their favorite on. They're definitely a better restart by Larson this time. You know, the one isn't as far up beside him. The double zero is going to pounce on this. Try to get to second. 21. Austin Hill trying to work his way to the outside. A pole sitter, oh. John Hunter Nemechek, and boy, Sam Mayer had a handful, didn't he? Sheldon Creed. That's the seldom three for one if he can finish the deal. Sliding up. Oh, is there room? There oh, goes the two. Easy, easy Simultaneous spins for teammates Austin Hill and Sheldon Creed. And we have our sixth caution of the afternoon. And it, boy, I'll tell you, most of these guys are going to drive away. But momentarily, it looked like a parking lot developing in turn four. Looked like something you see at Talladega. Just cars spinning everywhere and it all started with a bold move into turn three that he just couldn't hold down counting over 10 12 cars involved adam yeah and it was hard to tell the extent of the damage because a, a lot of drivers didn't really hit hard but the two banged up big time yeah that's big damage i mean not only obviously the hood's up but oh there's massive damage on the 16 the whole left side door is ripped off left front fender we might need to call on our friends from Goodyear to analyze this one. Outside lane, wins out, five to go, stage two. Twenty's been able to put some pressure on Kyle here. I didn't, honestly, I didn't really see this happening. I thought the 10 car was super good. Is the 20 is going to get a run to the inside and look right in the 20s tire tracks. Here comes Algar. This is so big when you talk about the championship chase. Those That's stage slide. points and a playoff point. John Hunter in the check. Final lap pass of Kyle Larson Inside. in the stage. Can he hang on? He's going to get him. Photo finish to end stage two. Give it to John. Hunter Nemechek. Man, that was a great rally and so big when you talk about his day, not just points, but now he takes control of the race. This is going to be fun. Honestly, not a bad restart for Josevar on older stuff in the top lane. He did a pretty good job of, of accelerating. Well, he's just happy to have a bit of a gap from the big. I mean, it's screamed yeah. there, but he's got he's a bit of a gap. Third, so he's he's done a good job on the restart through one and two. I know you'll find this hard to believe. Sam Mayer out of line again. That's the best set of older tires you could have. What Carson has, he really rolled around slowly. Those seven laps, he had them on. For a 20-year-old, he has shown a lot of maturity here today. Ryan C coming to the picture. We haven't really talked about Ryan all day, but he's peaking at Mayer for fifth. He's put a solid day together in sixth. And from a stat perspective, really good racetrack for him. Kaz mm -hmm. up to ninth. Haven't said his name today, but put a good run together for Sam Hunt Racing, who was so successful last year with John Hunter Nemechek leading this race today. You know what I love about a little Fox side by side? You miss absolutely nothing. Caution for debris, ninth yellow of the afternoon for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And the plot has thickened because mm. John Hunter Nemechek was feeling really good, 22 laps to go. Now they have to execute on pit road, manage a restart. And Kyle Larson from 30th yep. to 6th, right back in the game. Yeah, I mean, this is what he needed, right? He wasn't going to get there without a caution. You know, and now he got it, you know, from cars who have damage and, and debris comes off the car. Boom, you're right back in the game. So those guys can reset, you know, and, and now go for this win. That's about a perfect time for a caution for Kyle Larson as well. Get those tires, 
fast car, plenty of time to get there. 21 laps to go. Sheldon Creed had just gone a lap down. He gets the free pass. He's 25th. Kyle Sieg punting the debris that we believe came off the 31 of Parker Retzloff. John Hunter Nemechek had a three second lead over the cut line. Caution, there it is. Tenth of the afternoon. Saw Ryan Sieg on track. This is younger brother Kyle who produces that tenth yellow. Nemechek didn't want to see this with the advantage he had and 11 laps to go. You're going to be inside of 10. Pit road opens. Got a lot of cars on the lead lap, 28 of them. I'm, I'm not sure if you come for that last set of tires here or not. You're not going to hear anything out of us. <laughs> See, he crosses the apron there. And that apron below the white hash marks is not new pavement, you know, so that's old pavement. So we used to go down there a lot and, and dip your left sides or sometimes your whole car down there. If Larson enters turn three, Oh, here he goes. Larson Trying with a move off of turn two. Trying to loosen him up. Did. He did. For the lead at Darlington. Big slide jump. Larson inside of John Hunter Nemechek. Big side by over. side to three. Larson slides up into the wall. Off of turn four. Here yeah, they Mark. come. Back to One the checkered down. flag. When he's back inside of him. Nemechek oh, oh. contact. Larson going to be the man that wins it at Darlington. What a finish. Speeding penalty to victory lane. Kyle Larson wins in Darlington for the first time in his career. It's his 14th career Xfinity victory. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.